you can get some good stuff with this. Woo! Oh! What's going on, everybody? We are going to make a fishing spare, also known as a frog gig. And it's a great useful primitive survival tool to be able to use in a situation to be able to spare and get small things like frogs and fish. So, got myself some rope. I have my kukri knife. I found a nice strong piece to be able to make my spare out of. And then I have a nice strong piece of wood to be able to baton into here. So let's go to the next step. A little more challenging sometimes to do small carvings with a bigger knife, but at the same time, this is very functional in many ways because I can chop things down very, very easy. Smith it. Caw, caw. So we got it pretty even. Now we got to find two sticks and jam them, crisscross them in there. Open this thing up. It's like a couple pieces of pizza. Before I jam these in, I'm actually going to wrap around here to strengthen it so that way it doesn't split even more. I'll make a loop. I'm going to leave a little bit on this end, right? I'm going to start wrapping around. Damn mosquito. So this will keep it from splitting and strengthen this area. So you can keep on going. So I took this guy, put him through the loop. Right? Now check it out. Take this part, pull it. Check it out. It's nice and secure. Now we can pop these guys in. And here I was thinking, here I was thinking that this piece was too long and shortened it. This is some strong wood, man. It's windy. So we got those pieces in. And now we can sharpen and then tie. Or maybe we can tie and then sharpen. I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference. Tied a clove hitch right here. Now I want to go over and under and over and under, making sure it's nice, nice and tight here. Over, nice and tight. Then you're going to switch directions and go under. Now we're going to tie a clove hitch to this and we're good. There's a couple ways to tie a clove hitch. The way that I always do it is just the way that I learned when I was a tree guy. Alright. Goddamn bugs. So this is nice and secure. Tied off the clove hitch. This is looking very nice. Very strong and secure. Now here's the fun part. Let's sharpen these up and you get yourself a great fishing spear or a frog gig. And the good thing about tying this already is that it stays nice and strong. Always be aware where your fingers are. I like the challenge. Definitely got to be more careful to get one of these big guys. Final touches here, and then we got ourselves a nice weapon. The more that you do these, the better you get at carving. But this is definitely sharp enough, and it will do the job. Look at it. Look at it. It makes me want to go hunting for frogs right now. Look at that, mate. I'm not sure what type of, maybe I'm talking like I'm from Scotland, but check it out. 
This is great. Great to have if you want to be able to catch like a frog or something. You need to make sure you know how to make a nice fishing spear or a frog gig. That's what they call it, a frog gig. But it's very nice. I like it very much. I've been, you know, talking like an idiot and that's all right. As long as you take your time and practice safety skills. We got ourselves a nice primitive fishing spear, frog gig, and you can get some good stuff with this. Woo! Oh! And you can help the earth. You can clean up some trash or clean up the leaves from your yard. Check it out. Yeah.